Welcome back. Part two, let's call it, of the 3000 GT build. And this I'm excited about. I have never done a tube front end before. So what I've done is I've um, kind of removed some of the structure here. Um, oh, I should start. This is a 1G car that normally has pop-ups and I did 2G headlights that aren't supposed to fit, but I made them fit and had to trim the bucket, then made my own mounting system here. And then the plan is to cut away all of this, this, that, that, the rest of that to save some weight and open up some space for a big six inch thick front mount intercooler, a tucked radiator behind that, and then piping and all kinds of stuff because the turbo is probably gonna sit here feeding that. So, because I've never done this before, I didn't want to just cut it all off and then try to make it back. So what I'm doing is made this, I'm gonna brace here, down, behind the bumper, down to here, right in there. And then I also was able to get this tube to fit nicely where I want it and just miss this. So I'll be able to weld this tube in, add a little brace to here somewhere and then really brace all this up and then try to do the same on the other side, but it's shaped differently. So I think that's going to be in the way, but that's the plan. And if you haven't seen the previous episode, this is a 25, five cage that uh, I'm going to try to get to cert to 25 one. It'll have everything it needs for 25 one, but there's some nuances. Um, we're gonna have a bolt in, and I was gonna do a ladder bar, but there's some rules that I want to try to meet. So we're gonna do a bolt in four link. So it'll um, bolt in all the stock places, including the strut towers here, and have a four nine inch four link. And then we're gonna use a 6G75 motor out of an Endeavor and build that with aluminum rods and actually destroke it for a stronger crank and put it all in here with a power glide. And a front diff. All right, back to welding. Both sides done. Focus. In hindsight, I should have shortened this up a little bit more and had this come more to like here because I have to fit a six inch intercooler and a radiator and fans. I think it's gonna be okay. I can trim some of the um, inside of the bumper. This and have the intercooler come forward. Um, and then the radiator is actually gonna be narrow enough to fit in between. So even if it does stick out here, then I'll just have to get the uh, um, intercooler piping around. So I think it's gonna be okay. And that certainly braces the front end more um, with uh, pulling it forward. But if I gave myself an extra inch or two, that's what she said, that uh, would have helped. Okay, change of plans. I decided uh, that just cutting from here to basically here and then having to add more fender mounts was going to be silly. So I um, decided to keep this section and we'll still need to, but clean up this cut line a little bit. And then of course it'll get repainted. And then what I do is just cut this out and I think it'll be a lot easier. So that's what I did on this side. 
still more rigid than I would have thought. Um, this front piece was four pounds. This piece that I just cut out was 17. So in theory, that's another 17. So that's 34, 38. And what I added back was seven total because these together were seven. So if that holds true on that side, um, I saved 30 pounds. Well, plus some rod. I'm, I'm pretty happy. That's pretty awesome. And it looks pretty cool. So yeah, oh, I need to plate that. That's wild. <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, it is moving, but the whole car is moving too. So I think if I just add a brace somehow down to there that won't be in the way of an intercooler, uh, I'm golden. Or I guess I could just go back to here and that's gonna do similar. All right, let's see if this closes. It does. So I slept on my project and I have decided I'm going to redo all the tubes that I did. So because I decided to keep this, then this just doesn't look right to me. Now, Micah and his friends like it, but I don't. So what I'm gonna do is plate this and run a similar tube down to here. I needed a little bit, or one, a little bit more room for the radiator anyway. So I'll have it hit here, do that on both sides, and then cut my hard work off and grind down the welds. So it'll go to there. And then I'll add some bracing and crap for the headlights, but yeah, so more work uh, that I, I just, I, I, I'm not liking it. I, I do and I don't, but I need to get this done so I can brace up all of this and then start working my way um, to the back of the car. So I started cutting these templates. I thought, well, maybe, maybe not everyone knows how to, how to do this little simple trick. Take a piece of paper, press it up against there, and then you take a dirty finger or thumb and rub it around on the paper. And now you have a template. Bam. Then you take this, trace it to metal, and then cut it out, trim it, fit it, weld it. So pretty easy. I'm a great welder. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Don't look at the top yet. <laughs> I'm zoomed right in on it. <laughs> Looks like I got good penetration. That's what she said. All right, so that's kind of the thought. This will need to be notched so it lines up with this. And then once that's there, we cut off that one. He's not so sure about it. It's hard to tell. All right, now pull it away and let's see. Otherwise it's done. Like that. 
Well, unfortunately, we didn't get it on video, but Micah welded all this. And all of it. <laughs> I did one little tack. But he did a tack. It only took three tries, and it worked. And then I had to grind less on this side than I did on that side. So, <laughs> so I'm getting better, too. Should have just let him weld it edit out all the boring shit in here. <laughs> uh, you couldn't see my hand. I had my thumb up uh, too. <laughs> Dang it. All right, we're doing a little break from that for that, for that, because I broke that. Um, long story short, I broke off two of these teeth. I got about three quarter of the teeth of one tooth out of there, the rest uh, made its way, you see the scratches through the trans, so that's, that's gonna be lovely. But I dropped the subframe, disconnected all of the suspension, which is going to be a complete pain to put back together, but uh, so I could drop the subframe and remove this diff without having to remove the transmission. And then I got this from TMZ, Tim Zimmer. And this is a Quaif diff that uh, he put on the Speedo gear for me and new bearings so that I can just uh, swap the ring gear over to this and drop her in. When this gets back together, all you hard tire guys watching, you're in trouble. Because I've been racing with an open diff. No idea where we left off, but this is where we are. Cut those bars out. Well, prior to that, added these bars in. And then my old radiator uh, from a VW and dual pass in theory it can sit right there and tuck and then intercooler in front of that piping going up through here depending upon if i put the turbo here or down below the headlight to be determined that's tacked in next i think i'm going to make uh some standoffs to go from that stud on the frame and then connect to down to this tube for the front subframe because that's a long span with uh, no other connections and then we move to the back because that'll kind of finish the front it's just hacked in now got smart press it did you do it i did it say i did it <laughs> I did it! We did it! Ready? I did it! <laughs> I did it! You did it! <laughs>